In this video, I want to show you how to make an HTTP request using the async pipe. First, we make a call to a service to load a list of users and we save the data in an array. Since the HTTP client get method always returns an object, we can use generics to define what type of data we will receive, and for now we use an array of any. Now we can display a list of users by using the ng4 directive, and we can also display the total. Now we have to create the user type, and I use JSON2TS, a very useful tool that I often use to convert JSON structures into a type. We can just copy paste the JSON and click generate. Now we can easily type our state and the HTTP client get. This approach works perfectly, but we can make it even more synthetic using the async pipe. In fact, we can create the user's property to contain the observable returned by the HTTP client and use the async pipe to subscribe it directly into the template. We must use the optional chaining operator, also known in Angular as safe navigation operator, because the async pipe can also return null. Everything seems to work correctly, but if we open the dev tool, we will notice two calls. The reason is that the get method returns a called observable, and each subscription creates a new execution. There are several techniques and RxJS operator to solve the problem, but in this case we use a simple trick provided by the Angular framework. We subscribe to the observable in an ngif directive and save the result in a template reference. Now we only have one subscription and everything will work as before. 